Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm picking up right where my left vlog left off. It is still the 26th, uh, Sunday of August. We actually have a storm heading in. I'll, I'll show a little clip right here of the radar and what the radar looks like right now. But this is what it looks like outside. It is very eerie and dark. That's what it's been looking like for the past, I don't know, half hour, hour. And now the thunder is starting to roll in. So judging from the, what the radar was showing us uh, and the warnings and the watches I've gotten on my phone in the past 30 minutes, we have a heavy band of weather coming in. So it should be a very relaxing night. I am highly looking forward to it. So in my last vlog, I mentioned that I was thinking about making a game, a trivia based game. It's not the first idea I've ever had for a game. In fact, I had one idea for a game that dealt a lot. It, it was a big... And the power just went out. All right, how about that? I was uploading a video onto YouTube when the power went out. So now I gotta restart my computer and uh, try uploading the whole video again yay okay fun fun okay so like I was saying the whole thing with the gaming thing uh, years ago when I was in college I tried to develop my own game but it was very complicated it had to do a lot with different races like druid elf human dwarf but then it also had to do with a bunch of uh, elemental type stuff as well so it was kind of complicated for one person especially when even back then I loved the stuff but I never really played the game so I never really knew how they would work well together and it was just way too complicated for one person especially someone in college so that idea kind of fell by the wayside and i don't think i will actually ever pick the idea back up again unlike this one which is actually doable by one person and i know a lot about it so i'm gonna have a blast making it my question to you guys is if you have you ever thought about making a game before or um if you have what made you stop what, what was the breaking point that made you say, okay, I don't, or I can't do this by myself, so I'm going to have to step away from it. So let me know in the comment section below how you dealt with that whole thing, or if you ever tried making your own game, let me know in the comment section below. All right, so I turned off the lights so I could show you guys what it looks like outside because we are getting hammered. Uh, there's also a slight chance of tornado watch. So here's what we're getting. This is the driveway. Holy cow. Ah! Oh man. <laughs> All right, so I got, I'm gonna put up with that for a little bit. I'm gonna make sure none of my stuff blows up. I'm gonna have to turn the camera off because my battery's about to die. So we'll catch you guys in a little bit. Other than the tornado warning that popped up, we've been getting a lot of severe thunderstorm alerts and watches. Like right now, we're under a warning for the next like hour or two. Um, and it's, I mean, it's thundering right now. It's not nearly, the rain has calmed down a lot. We are supposed to get winds up to like 40 and at times gust of like 60 miles an hour so i'm hoping that goes by very quickly because the storm was moving at like 30 or 40 miles an hour so it was moving i don't know i'd say fairly quick in storm standards i guess i don't know how fast storms move for them to be categorized it's like oh it's a fast moving storm it's like 60 miles an hour seems extremely quick for a storm 
but then again gust of wind up there like really strong so who knows one cool event today was that the completionist and if you don't know who the completionist is um i will have a link to his channel in the description box below he i think he's fairly close to getting uh, a million subscribers but like the name suggests he completes video games and not just for trophies or achievements but to actually complete the game like a hundred percent like he'll collect everything in a game or he'll fight everyone in a fighting game or something like that it's, it's basically just to complete the game a hundred percent well he was doing a fundraiser this weekend for uh, his mom ended up passing away years ago because she had dementia and he did this fundraiser which it's a fundraiser he started or I think his dad started and he did a charity event for it today on Twitch so I got to watching that and uh, I got to see majority of it I would probably say six to twelve hours of it because it was going for like 30 hours so kudos to him for doing that he had Jamie Lee Curtis on there he had um, just a bunch of people uh, for different games I'm not gonna get into names because there are a lot of indie game developers that came by but what I found was really cool was that they broke their original mark of 25,000 and then he bumped it up to 50,000 and they ended up ending the stream with $52,000 so big kudos to them for doing that that's awesome I donated uh, I felt really good about doing it it was just nice to see something nice to see a cause like that actually support it as much as it did and it, it's a bit of a a, sh, uh, a bittersweet thing because as well as he did today with that there was also a shooting down in uh, Jacksonville which was unfortunate uh, they were having a Madden qualifying tournament and one guy lost and decided to shoot up the place so that's interesting stupid stupid people but anyway the the charity event was just amazing glad they did it and I'm glad it went so well whoo trying to catch my breath okay so uh, as you can see my lights don't work <laughs> I'm using any natural light that I have at the moment uh, for lighting you saw the power go out yesterday today's the next day today's Monday the 27th 28th somewhere around there you saw the power go out and then it went back on one o'clock in the morning we heard a loud boom I mean, a loud boom, and it shook the house. Apparently, the transformer blew. Uh, they were fixing it today. They got all of our stuff fixed. Went out at 1 o'clock in the morning. They got the power back up by, what was it, 2.33 2 o'clock, somewhere around there. Um, actually, I want to say it was more like 3.30. Um, but anyway, come to find out, our neighbors on the left their power comes straight off of the power towel towers power poles tower whatever electrical poles whereas our power runs underground and it connects to his next door on the right side our power is fine but either his uh his box on his property is bad or the wires are bad underground going from our area to his house and because of that, his power doesn't work. So they had to shut our power off. So we we got the generator going, we hooked it up to both fridges because we had a fridge in the garage as a freezer. And we have a freezer in the garage and then we have our main refrigerator in the house. So now we have the generator going for both of those. Come to find out, we probably won't get power back on until tomorrow. So we're probably gonna have to go a good day and a half without power, which really sucks. I wanna do some laundry. <laughs> And I'm running on very low power right now as of my portable charger that I have. Out of four lights, it's down to one light. So I really don't have that much power on that anymore. So I'm charging my phone to maximum charge and then I'm going to try and not touch it. My tablet, I think, has about 70-80% power. So I can play with that for a little bit. My switch, fully charged, so I can play with that too. Other than that, it's going to be a long, long night. All right, so I look disheveled, just flat out sexy right now. Uh, passed out on the floor for a while. It is now 1.30 in the morning on the 28th. So I think we want a full 24 hours with no power. So um, I'm going to pass out for now, and I will see you guys in the morning. Just want to give you an update on the whole, uh, the whole power outage situation. Good stuff. All right, so 
after the whole fiasco yesterday of the uh, power finally turning back on at like 1.30 in the morning, I'm going, or I'm trying to go over some stuff for work tomorrow, um, and I noticed I got a couple warnings on my phone. So all together, uh, I'll take another screenshot of the storm that we have coming in right now. We have a severe thunderstorm warning. We have a severe thunderstorm watch, which apparently I didn't know you could do the watch and the warning at the same time. Learn something new. Uh, flash flood watch, flash flood warning, and severe thunderstorm warning. Wait, no. One, two, three. Yeah, why do we have two of those? One, two, three, four. It's saying all together we have five warnings, but two of them are identical. Unless one of them is expiring or about to expire and the other one kicks in automatically. Uh, well, yeah, we have a lot of... <laughs> We have a lot of oh man okay they're saying anywhere we could have hail and winds up to 60 miles an hour okay that seems like tornado weather I'm not looking forward to this in fact the western portion over by La Crosse I know they were dealing with mudslides and some really heavy rain so I wish them the best of luck I hope they can get through this um, but yeah it's it's uh <laughs> I'm just reading the other part of it. It says, action recommended. Uh, take shelter in place or per instructions issued by Milwaukee Sullivan, Wisconsin, U.S. National Weather Service. And it just has a long list of things. Storm is apparently moving at 40 miles an hour. Wind gusts of 60. Uh, hmm. Damage to roof, siding, and trees. Good lord. Uh, this is... This is crazy. I don't know who ticked off Mother Nature, but she is just having a field day right now with the Midwest. Yeah, <coughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I still got some caramel popcorn in my, for some reason, I don't know if it's just caramel popcorn in general, or like all popcorn, but caramel po caramel popcorn for me, for, for some reason, it just, it ends up getting lodged in my throat a huge amount of the time. And I feel like I'm gonna die. So I love this stuff, but it just, it tries to kill me every single time I eat it. But yeah, oh, we got another warning. What did we get a warning for this time? Oh, uh, it's just another severe thunderstorm warning. Awesome. Watch our power go out again. Knock on wood. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this week's video. Sorry there wasn't a whole lot to shoot other than the, the weather stuff coming in, but uh, we're just getting the tail end of it. They're still calling for, because today is Thursday the 30th of August, and... They're still calling for rain as of this Saturday. I just got the warning on my phone again for flash flood warning for our area. So, <laughs> more rain, yay. Altogether, we ended up getting over five inches of rain in this area. Um, a person that I know a little bit further north ended up getting, um, I wanna say eight inches or a little over. And the night that we actually regained power um, we saw him working on our power outside on the power on the uh, the, uh, the box but the night that we ended up getting power was at that time another storm was rolling in that last clip that I showed you of, or the last picture I showed you of that that crescent shaped storm heading right into us there was another identical one behind it uh, about an hour out so we only had like an hour or two before that next one hit and we just got hammered again and when that second batch came through there were only maybe a little over 100 people without power at that time because they regained a lot of it it was like 2000 at one point and then it jumped up all the way to 20,000 people by the end of that whole storm so it just wiped out a whole crap ton of people so i really hope the west side of wisconsin recovered because um, it looks like we're about to get some more i hope you guys are doing well hope you guys are staying dry uh, but I will see you guys in the next video. So take care and if you like the video make sure to like and subscribe below It helps out and definitely check out the completionist if you're into gaming videos and you definitely want to see like how um, Not really how games are completed, but the review of doing a full complete of games Highly recommend looking at his channel. He also does playthroughs with another guy because they're both bearded guys like myself and they they have just a blast playing through a lot of these games together so i'll link both of those channels below if you get a chance definitely swing over and check them out but i will see you guys next time take care and goodbye